So, here we go. I told you last video that I would have it pretty much done, and, and I do. Unfortunately, I did not get to wiring up the controllers just yet. Um, there's a couple reasons for that. One being, nobody in this town carries the right size connectors for the buttons. Yeah. Uh, I don't live in a huge town, but I found enough. The other reason being, uh, my crimpers are toast. And I didn't want to use crap crimpers to uh, hook everything up. So next week I'm going to finish this up. So I wanted to give a real quick update. Um, real quick. Actually, I'm going to go in a little bit more in depth on this this time. I'm thinking I'm going to spend some time on this video because I think I've been kind of skipping over a lot of the things that I've been doing. Um, first off, oh, let me think here. Let's start with the control pad. Um, okay, as you can see, there's my control pad. Completely working. Everything's hooked up. One player button, two player button, credit button, credit button, A and B, A and B. Extra button, extra button, N6 button, spur fighting, whatever the hell they want to be set up as. Anyways, um, let me set this down real quick. I painted, or I'm sorry, let me uh, show you the buttons first. Here's what they look like. Not a very good shot. Sorry, this camera is not very good. As you can see, though, there are tons of connections to do. I've got 22 buttons plus four on the controller. That's uh, you know 24, 24, 24. Yeah, that's. I mean, there's just. I don't think I. I think I got more than 22 buttons. <laughs> but anyways, that's what it looks like under. And this isn't even wired up yet because I told you why. Let me put this down real quick and. show you. I don't know if the camera will really pick this up really, but the paint that I used was a textured paint. That's dry now. It's been over a day and a half, so but yeah, it kind of gives it that grippy arcade feel, you know, like you know, so you can kind of put your palm here and have some grip and it's not slipping, you know. This isn't hooked up yet. Um I messed up on the, the holes because I don't know if I can really put this out to you. Um, there's some hinges I'm right here. This is a hinge. And basically it's supposed to bolt on. Sorry. One second. Two. Here. In these holes. Well, the problem was is that the original game pad was you know like an eighth of an inch thick made out of metal I replaced it with my own custom panel and it's three quarter inches so you know doing the math which I'm terrible at um, tells me that I need to come down to the edge of this board here to get these hinges hooked up I tried hooking it up last night and it didn't work because it's keeping the, the panel up to how can I say it? Um, it's it's not lifting up enough, so it doesn't sit flush up here. So I'm gonna have to drill new holes, fill fill these old holes up with putty and repaint. That's not a big deal. Um, I was a little disappointed because you know I try and work these things out you know before I do it, but oh well, things happen as I said. And here's a computer CP. I think I've already showed people this down there um, everything's hooked up speakers receiver that's my marquee um, let's go around back and I'll show you hold on a there we go a little temperamental boy that's not really showing up very good is it hang on one second 
I'll get it. All oh, the magic of doors. Light. Yes, there's light. Okay. Now we can see. Okay, you can see there that I strapped in the TV with just a regular strap. You can buy at Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever. There's some brackets down here that I put to kind of hold it in place so it doesn't move when you're moving it around. Um, down here, of course, is the back of the CPU. I still need to strap that in place. But, yeah. These are all the wires. Here's the power supply that I used. Um, basically, what you're looking at there is an automatic power supply. Um, whenever I push the button on the computer, it gives a signal to the rest of these plugs to turn on automatically so that you don't have to turn everything on, which is nice and kind of makes it special. So, And again, like I said, you need a TV that has an auto power on feature, which means that the power is cut. Uh, you have to, uh, or it turns on back by itself on the original setting that it was on beforehand. So, let me close this door. And take a drink of my beer. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's good. Mmm. Okay. Pop of the old cigarette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. I'm going to show you what it does when I power up. I got most of the bugs worked out of this right now. So, boom, powered up, light came on. I told you the power supply automatically powers on the light. Now listen, there goes the TV. TV just turned on by itself. Told you about the auto power on. Custom uh, Windows XP loading screen. I got on the internet, really cool. I don't want Windows XP showing up. So. Um, the desktop does show up. This is a problem I have been having to log on, and I hope to get that fixed real soon. So, let me escape that. Or, I'm sorry. There, that. The desktop will show up for about 10 seconds, and you'll start to see. There it goes. There we go. Maximus is now loading up by itself with the custom loader. <clears throat> okay. I'm sorry. I forgot to turn on the sound. <laughs> That's the only thing I do have to turn on manually is up here. Okay. So, um, I really didn't have this ready to go like I should have. So I'll put that there. Oops. And, um, real quick, um, I already showed you the main, you know, the emulators part of it. Uh, let's go ahead and show you the, the uh, multimedia version of this. Um, I got Windows Media Player which is 9, version 9 by the way. Um, I didn't go to 10 because I was just afraid there'd be too many compatibility issues. So, all right, real quick. So it's gonna play some music, but um, this PC is equipped with a DVD player, so <coughs> I'm gonna try and play DVD. I installed the K-Lite codec pack. Just look it up on Google. K-Lite. K-L-I-T-E. K-Lite codec pack. And it allows you to... It gives you the DVD codecs and whatnot. So, I don't know why this keeps switching back. The mouse is moving. But this is a DVD playing right now. Let's need to put that straight. And there's a DVD. That's Joe Satriani, by the way. Um, play movie. Uh, 
Okay, play a movie. <laughs> Even if you have to use a mouse, it's not a big deal. But once I get these controls set up, it'll be really good. And that's the DVD playing. It'll be kind of a cool touch to your party scenario. Anyway, uh, so other than that, um, I did install a, a virtual ju or arcade jukebox. Let's see here. Oh, uh, can start that up. I got this for free. Arcade jukebox eight. He really, this guy's pretty. It's a real simple program, and um, the, the guy's story on this is pretty cool. And how he decided to make it himself. He even kind of looks, he's got the old wood jukebox on it, which is kind of neat. Um, real quick, uh, I gotta bend down to get my keyboard. So, um, let's see here. We can uh, find whatever tracks, and I mean, you just set the, set the uh, path where all your MP3s are. And, uh, it automatically makes a list for you. And, okay, as you can see, it says now playing Epica, Phantom Ag uh, the Phantom Agony. So if I go to another song, like Nickelback figured you out, it's gonna say coming up, Nickelback. So basically, you make your own playlist, which is kind of cool, you know. I mean. It's like having an arcade and a jukebox, you know? Yeah, I put two on there now. It's going to in snails. Anyway, so that's the arcade jukebox. <clears throat> and again, um, I got the other systems on here as well. I can show you a Nintendo game real quick. Um, how about Super Mario Brothers? Everyone knows that one, right? Or even better, Super Mario's Fun Edition. I've got all kinds of weird stuff on here. English. Let's just go regular Super Mario Brothers. There we go. Yay! Super Mario Brothers! I love it. And I don't have any of my buttons set up because, like I said, none of these are even connected just yet. But... I can't remember what button it is to start this. Okay. No. There we go. And there we got Super Mario Brothers 3. And I have no idea which one of these keys. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, I can't even play it. I just can't do it. <laughs> Not with the keyboard. There's what I'm trying to play it with. I mean, that's all fine and dandy if you want to do that, but when I get this working, it'll be like jump, you know, everything. So, there's that. And um, I don't know what else to show you guys, um, other than, yeah, this is just an extra TV if you're wondering. <laughs> um, I think I'm just going to stick it up in the house somewhere. Maybe I'll mount it up here with cable. So I'll have the football game live with the, you know, be like a whole party scene. This whole garage maybe turned into a party atmosphere. My wife's going to love this. Um, <clears throat> No, uh, I think that about covers it. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions, you're more than welcome to message me on YouTube or my website or, uh, you know, uh, and let me know and I'll be more than, helping, you know, more than happy and try and help you guys. So, uh, good luck and uh, I hope this helps anyone that's trying to build their own. And um, like I said, I'm still learning too. So... I have yet to hook up the iPad 2 with the uh, controllers here. <clears throat> so again, wish me luck, and I love you guys, and uh, thanks for watching. Peace out.